been almost six weeks since most school bus drivers in Duval County last got a paycheck. Duval County Public Schools say it's up to the independent bus companies to take care of the drivers, but at least two bus companies say they are owed money from the district. Alex Osaitis is digging for some answers for us tonight on your side. They need to do our jo their job now and have our backs now in this time of crisis. We met Gwendolyn Peavy a few weeks ago. She's a veteran bus driver of 19 years. Her employer, Student Transportation of America, instructed her to file for unemployment and told her it was still waiting on money to be fulfilled for contracts by DCPS. A similar story over at Randall Transportation, school bus subcontractor. The family-run business has been serving the community for close to 80 years, forced to furlough 18 drivers and telling us the company sits in limbo. Just, we're idling and we're just standing you know, status quo right now to try to, uh, uh, in, we are in readiness should they need our services. DCPS told the On Your Side team it was negotiating with contractors, saying that the district was, quote, trying to be a good steward of taxpayer dollars, adding that it's up to the companies, not DCPS, to pay for drivers. Still, it's been a wait with no apparent end in sight for Sherman Randall. The stimulus package would hurry up and, you know, be executed. Then we could go on and, you know, help our people. Teamsters Union President Jim Sherling penned this letter to calling for action and opportunities for drivers. For PV, who's trying to support her family, she says if she and other drivers have to find other jobs, there's no guarantee that there will be enough of them returning once the pandemic restrictions are lifted. What are they going to do if we all decide to go out and get jobs and battle and get through all this? What are they going to do when it's time to come back and these buses don't start up? Reporting, Alex Osaitis, First Coast News, on your side.